second remaining. Lorst it, coming into the berm, not leaning into it, getting stood up, it had to wait a little bit. The atmosphere absolutely electric here, of course it is, because Chase Sexton right there in second position. Eli Tomac was victorious in the first race, and he takes his opportunity, and I have to pull Ricky Johnson off the ceiling because Sexton goes into the lead, and it's another one-point place for the Americans at the moment as Sexton leads. Remember, he's only a couple hours away from here, over the border in Illinois, but uh, what a fantastic job for Guadagnini who held on for the first four and a half laps, but it's Sexton who leads and Kyler Wolf down again. And so too, uh, who's the other rider there? Number 96, Ocken Osterhagen from Norway. So now we see Chase Sexton, he's pulled out a little bit. We saw that, that Jet Loris was starting to push on him and that's when I think he said, time to pull the trigger. But um, Gattanini made a little mistake and lost that momentum, but both, uh, no, Gattanini is the only one to clear LaRocco's lead. He was doing that early in the practice yesterday and he's gonna find a way around the outside here. And Gattanini, half a lap after being taken, finds his way back into the lead, Italy lead once more, and that's uh, a one point place for the Italians. Remember, one point for a race win, two points for second, three for third crucial points with every single place and he tries to go around the outside here Guadagnini knows he's there he runs him on the exit of turn one this is a dogfight between the, the Italians and the Americans Hunter Lawrence uh, sorry Jet Lawrence right there concertina back and forth on and off the rear wheel of Sexton but a fantastic ride this for uh, the Italian Guadagnini in his only second motocross nation's appearance. No, I'm very impressed with him for, and especially when you lose the lead, sometimes a rider loses a lot of composure. He bounced right back, made some, uh, Sexton made a couple mistakes and he was able to take that lead back, running very strong. So Guadagnini doing an awesome job here at MX Nations Moto2. Meanwhile, behind these guys, Ferrandis now up to eight. He's cleared Marvin Muscan and Harry Kulas. Kulas now ninth, Muscan 10, Norrin 11. Uh, Hunter Lawrence is up into 12th place, so the Aussies are fighting back in third and in 12th place with Jet and Hunter. This time he goes to the inside to Sexton. He may just make it happen here. No, he doesn't. Guadagnini read it well, keeps the American to the outside, Sexton. And this is this is where I think that you need to rough a guy up a little bit. And a physical game is part of the race. Now, I'm not saying take him out or, or hammer him or try to hurt him, but when you run a physical race, it changes the way a rider rides. And Guadagnini seems so confident that he just moves right over in front of Sexton. But talking about roughing up, I think that's what Hunter Lawrence tried to do to Justin Cooper, knowing that they were so close in the overall general classification. It came off worse for him. He took the risk. Cooper stayed up, Hunter went down. Yeah, exactly. You have to be in position. You got to take control. And that's where it also says, you know, my friend and Chris Brennan from Jiu Jitsu says, position before.